I just want to know how the experience was filming during a pandemic. Did it really change anything for you guys as actors? Um, I, I think that for me, it changed the way I study. I was mm. up a lot later than I usually was when we filmed the first, oh, I was so confused. The first <laughs> season. Yeah, when we were in the, yep, that's what's <laughs> happened. So I basically, we were, we would be on set till like maybe 12, 11, 12, and then have to run the scenes that we're shooting, um, you know, the next day. And I just remember like, yeah, this is team no sleep. And I think that that works for me. So I found a way um, by being put in this unique situation of having to live um, on Tyler Perry Studios during a pandemic, I found a better way for me to study, and I think it, it helped me as an actor. So I'm appreciative of the of the pandemic process. Okay. Well. Yeah, it was better on so many different levels for me. Just the efficiency of it, because everybody was on campus. We all kind of stayed like in this row of housing that was all right next to each other. So anytime we wanted to run lines, it was just like, you can just knock on the neighbor's door, you know? Actually, it was all on porches, I guess, because it was COVID. Um, but it felt great, because it was safe in the bubble. Everybody you know was there. They couldn't, couldn't leave the bubble. They didn't have outsiders come in, so we felt very safe. Um, before I had to, had to live like Midtown, Atlanta, I think it was Midtown. So you got an Uber there first thing in the morning, you know, like four o'clock in the morning. So it saves all of the commuting time. Um, and yeah, I think it's just kind of the closeness of, of the cast there that really kind of helped elevate everything this season. It felt like summer camp, honestly. Like it just it felt was. like summer camp because everybody was around each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not a bad thing. Just, no, it was yeah. great. It was great. Now, Matt, I have to ask you, how is it playing the villain? Are your fans taking your character and is it affecting your real life at all? Uh, it's, it's not affecting my real life. Yeah, I, re I really kind of unplugged from all that. So it, it definitely doesn't affect my real life. Um, and it's it's 99% positive. We love hating you kind of thing. Like, you know what I mean? And appreciative of of the show and the work and stuff. So it's been it's been all great. Elvon, I absolutely love Tally. She's my, one of my favorite characters. Um, you play her so, so well. It's so believable. But I just want to know what your favorite part of playing Tally is. Um, thank you. I really appreciate that. I would say the favorite part about playing Tally is that uh, I get to empathize with somebody like her who I know a lot of times you just want to shake her like, <laughs> get it under control, <laughs> you know, but uh, I looked into like anxiety because I feel like she definitely is challenged by anxiety being in the compound and probably even before that. So I love Tally. And I also love that Mr. Perry writes, I always say like Tennessee Williams, when it comes to women, he writes complex women. So Tally is not, uh, you know, none of the females, the women are one note. We have a lot of things going on. And, uh, and so that's my favorite part about playing Tally is that it is written by Mr. Perry. So Season two, you're going to see her go through a lot of changes uh, that are really great to watch. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. All right. And then, uh, Melissa, you and Lenny have such an incredible chemistry. It's, it's unbelievable. I love to watch it. So what is the secret to building, you know, this connection with an on-screen partner? Um... Thank you. I think I think Lenny Thomas is a phenomenal actor. So I think it first starts with having a great scene partner. Um, he's giving, and we both make sure to. I, I think we're both very good at making sure we read um, into what it is that we're trying to portray, and we actually practice the intention of the scene. Um, I think to bring chemistry, really, it, it's 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 almost like you kind of have to work on yourself first because if you're not a great uh, scene partner or don't understand the art of giving in a scene, then you probably won't have chemistry, and that's just that's just the fact. Um, but definitely working on yourself and becoming a better actor, so you can understand technique, you can understand improv when things are thrown at you. I, I appreciate that about. Tyler as well is that he lets us go off the book sometimes if we're kind of just in the scene and sometimes he keeps it and sometimes he doesn't but 
it's just cool to to have a scene partner that can flow with you in that way. So I hope that answers it. Amazing. And just for all of you guys now, if you were to start your own cult, but a good one, <laughs> a good one, what would you be worshiping? Like, you know, every day you got to eat pizza. You know, this is a pizza <laughs> cult. Like, what, what would you guys do? That's funny. I think mine would be the opposite. I would, I would do some sort of a, I've always been into health and fitness, so it, it'd be a healthy cult. I'd be drinking <laughs> green juice, doing push-ups, stuff <laughs> like that, you know. All right. Um, I would probably do a positivity cult. I feel like we need a lot of encouragement. It might be like a um, a detox from certain social media kind of cult <laughs> where you get to come here and, and like read good news and be encouraged and, uh, you know, just have some time to yourself. <laughs> well, I like that. that. I'm joining that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Melissa? I think mine would be, I just got... Uh, so it's kind of the health and fitness arena too. Mine would be a Peloton cult because it kind of is a cult. <laughs> I've been, I'm in it. So <laughs> yeah, it would be a, my own version of a Peloton cult. All right. <laughs> well, I love all these cults. These are good ones. <laughs> I wish they existed. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys. That's all my time for today. Thank you, thank you so much. Paris. So nice meeting you. you. Nice meeting you all. <laughs> Season one left us on quite a cliffhanger. So what can we be expecting for season two? Is it going to be more murder, love? Yes. Anyone can answer. All of that. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a lot of murder, a lot of love, a lot of mayhem. You're going to, hopefully you're good at holding your breath because there's going to be a lot. You, you thought season one was bad. It's oh a wrap for you guys. It's a wrap. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, fans are on edge from episode to episode. So are you guys on edge too? Do you already know what's going to happen or is there still some surprises? A lot of surprises for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a combination of we know and, and there are some surprises. Tyler yeah. Tyler even keeps us in the dark about stuff until we shoot. Oh, yeah. He might make some changes like that. So we can't marry anything. We have to just... See what happens. Yes. Yeah. 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 You know what's going on. When we see it and watch it on camera for the first time. I mean, on, on the screen, on TV. Yeah. It's, it's so exciting. Like, we didn't know what was going on. I know. know? It's like, when did I do that? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we yeah. on it just like y'all are. <laughs> and, and how was the um, filming process like? Because this was filmed during the pandemic. I know it was very COVID friendly, but does that change how your day goes? No, because I felt protected so I can concentrate on what I was doing. I didn't have to worry about my safety. So everything was taken care of for me. All I had to do was get those lines, get those words and, and get on set. So I was good to go. That's a good point. Yeah, I agree. Besides, you know, the fact that we wore masks all the time. So there's the, you know, there's the visual like reminder, like, oh, we're not in a regular time. Uh, the fact that we were sequestered and cleared, you know, having tests every four days. And uh, it kind of allowed us to just focus on the work and focus yes. on building our rapports with each other. You know what I mean? Uh, whereas before the first season, we, you know, we got to go to our living quarters <laughs> and then go to set. I, you know, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. The tra the traversing, I could just hop out. There's a there's a there's a little cab outside waiting for to take me to set. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Perry went over and beyond to make yeah. sure that the uh, film bubble was uh, everything we needed and more. Man, he took care of us to the max, and that's why he is the uh, the, the trendsetter that he is. He's the first. Yeah. Yeah. So we blessed now, him. Welcome how him. active is Tyler in when on set? Is he always showing up to set? Do you guys get to meet with him often? How how is it? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. He's all in it. All yeah. in it. Yeah. <laughs> He's right. behind. Yeah, he's right there. He's directing everything. He's re he, like we see him all the time. Um, and my the, my favorite part is like before we go to to work, you could see him. You know. Uh, working out like he had a trainer with him and he was doing sprints up and down he's always riding his bike around his uh his um his land 
and he's very active in in you know intertwined in his talent and um and the crew like it's 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 kind of amazing you know yes that's, that's the thing yeah you don't get to see and experience how you know real and natural and personal he really is people think he's pulling strings and doing things from afar he's right there nah, he's, he's getting his hands dirty right <laughs> by the collar and throwing me around in every scene that I'm doing, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could you could be on pins and needles and and he'll look at you and he'll say something really crazy and bust and you start busting out and you're right. like yep. yeah. and it's like okay now I can settle down and get to what he wants me to do. But sometimes yeah. it's just so overwhelming that he knows and he says, you know, he said loosen up, you know, relax. You, you can do it. You can do it. And, and we get her done. We get it yeah. done. Yes. I mean, the show is pretty dark and overwhelming. Do you guys have to do anything after filming to just like, like relax, de-stress, calm yourself oh, down? I pray before and after. I do. I have to. I have to release all of those uh, demons yeah. that Marvin has inside of her because she will walk off set. It's really hard to get on and be nasty to people like that because that's not who Bajay is. Yeah. And so to release that before I go on and say, Lord, you know, this is uh, what I do. This is what you provided me to do. So I need to release it and get on and do my job, get off, and I will give you praise and honor when I leave here. You know? <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. That's real. You know, prayer, meditation, yoga, yes. you know what I mean? Uh, hot, uh, what you call it? Epsom salt baths, anything to just... <laughs> anything, yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> But those are the blessings, like you said, in the levels of being an actor, you know, being yeah. to tap into things that aren't your reality. You know, yes. like, these two get real dark and they are the 100 percent opposite of that. Mm. Mm. Lenny's no fun at all. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Uh, well, season two has new castmates joining. Were you guys feeling a little cultish with your season one cast or were the season two uh, members welcomed? Uh, yeah, we had to break them in, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, they were welcomed just like we were when we first came, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, That's I was. Right. Yeah. We're a family. It's hard to walk into something like this and then, you, you know, you don't have the support of the other actors. It's really hard. And I've been on shows like that. It's a terrible feeling, but walking into Camp COVID, everybody was welcome. Everybody was treated the same. If you needed help, everybody was willing to help you, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but we have a bond with our cast. We're family. Like, no yeah. other, I mean, I, I, you know, it's hard to say never, but no cast is like ours. You know what I mean? The energy, the love that we give each other, the support. Yeah. It's like when we first met season one and season two, the new cast as well. It's like we were already family. Like, exactly. when I met yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just instantly bond like that. And that's that's just how all of us are. We yeah. love each other. The second you get cast in a show, you're family. So you right. make peace with that ASAP so that we can get to work and, exactly. and, and get it popping. Because, yeah, exactly. you will get embraced on this cast like you will anywhere else. And I can guarantee that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not competing with nobody. But seriously, there's nothing like our cast. Nothing. Exactly. Well, nothing. <laughs> You got your own little cult, a positive one, though. Okay? <laughs> yeah, see? That's the only way it can work, I feel like. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. You. I'm so excited. I know your fans are excited for season two. I see it everywhere on social <laughs> media. Like, it's got to start. So, yeah. Thank it's going to be a, um, <laughs> a good, a good right. problem. Yes. Thank you, too.